and blow it out and send water up into a switch gear and blow the thing up. All right, so we have our underground cable locator here. And what we're trying to do is figure out where this empty conduit goes. We need to make sure that we're using a metal fish tape when we do this so that when we clamp on the transmitter, the tone actually goes through the fish tape. Now, what's really important here is there could be other electrical equipment around you if you're doing this. And you wanna make sure that you don't send a metal fish tape up into a transformer or a switch gear or a panel somewhere. Now, if you don't have any live electrical around you, an easy way to do this is to just get a vacuum and blow in the conduit. These ones are full of water, so the water would go shooting up. But as you know, here we have some electrical equipment that's live, so I don't wanna put a vacuum on this and blow it out and send water up into a switch gear and blow the thing up. So I shove the fish tape in about five feet, maybe a little bit more because here we don't have anything around us. I know that we're safe. So we shove it into the conduit and then we take our transmitter and we clamp it onto the metal fish tape. You can then take your receiver, turn it on and you follow it out. It's right in this area. I got it up nice and loud and then I'm just gonna follow it out as I walk. You can see over here, it's dead. It's not over here, but then as we come closer, it's right there. So we just keep walking out, following. There it is. You push the fish tape in another five or 10 feet, and then you clamp back onto it again. And here it is again. And here it is again. And there it is. We found it.